Dawn on December 9, 1531. An Indian Juan Diego was going to Tlateloco to attend mass. As he was passing at the foot of Tepeyac Hill, he saw brilliant light on the summit and heard strains of celestial music. Filled with wonderment, he stood still. Then he heard a feminine voice asking him to ascend. When he reached the top, he saw the Virgin Mary standing in the midst of a glorious light, attired in heavenly splendor. She told him that she was the Immaculate Virgin Mary, mother of the true God, and made known to him her desire that a shrine be built there where she could manifest her love her compassion, her help, and protection. The bishop was reluctant to believe the Mexican story, so he returned to Tepeyac Hill, found the Blessed Virgin waiting for him, and told her of his failure. She bade him go back again the bishop then requested that the lady give him a sign. Juan reported this to her, and she promised to grant his petition on the following morning. But Juan was prevented from coming by his uncle's sudden illness. Two days later, December 12th, when he was going to the Tlate local church by way of Tepeyac to bring a priest to his dying uncle, the Blessed Virgin came down the hill to meet him. She listened to Juan's excuse for not having come the day before. Your uncle will not die. Be sure he is now well, she promised. She bade him to climb to the top of the hill where he had seen her and spoken with her on three occasions. She said he would find many flowers blooming there, which he was to cut and to bring to her. Juan Diego did as he was told, although on this stony summit, no flowers had ever bloomed before. He found a miraculous garden of roses, which he cut as Our Lady had asked and he took them to her. She arranged them in his mantle, telling him to take them to the bishop, that it was the sign that would persuade him to carry out her wishes. When Juan Diego, radiantly happy, stood before Bishop Frey Juan de Zumarraga and told him of his fourth encounter with the Blessed Virgin, he opened his mantle to show him the sign as the flowers cascaded to the floor to the astonishment of the bishop and his companions, there appeared the Virgin Mary's portrait, marvelously painted in the most exquisite colors upon the coarse fabric of the Indian's mantle, just as he had described her previously. Early on the same day of December 12th, she had also appeared to Juan's uncle and restored him to health, as she had told to Juan Diego. The mantle or tilma on which the portrait of the Blessed Virgin is imprinted is handwoven from the fibers of the maguey cactus, a fabric which the ordinary lifespan is 20 years. It is six and a half feet long by 42 inches wide, with a seam running down the middle. Directly on this rough material is the exquisite and delicate figure of Our Lady, four feet eight inches in height. This image of the Virgin Mary, her only authentic portrait, has remained fresh and lovely for more than four centuries. 
It can be seen and venerated at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City, where it occupies the place of honor above the high altar. In the eyes of the Virgin can be discerned the reflection of Juan Diego as seen in these reproductions. Indians, mestizos, Spanish, Europeans, and Americans come from distant places to petition Guadalupe for help in times of need. There is an awesome, inspiring air of true belief in the powers of this virgin. Painted plaques of bronze adorning si the side entrance to the old cathedral are a serious testament to the numerous apparitions and subsequent life-saving actions attributed to the Virgin. A new modern cathedral now holds the holy mantle. The old cathedral continues to sink in the ground which once was an old lake bed. December 12th is when hundreds of thousands join in the festivities celebrating this, the apparition of the Virgin Guadalupe. Protector of the people of Mexico.